Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is don't go out and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 12 and verse 22. Take a bunch of hyssop, dip it into the blood in the basin and put some of the blood on the top and on both sides of the door frame. None of you shall go out of the door of your house until morning. The last day, we spoke about how the Lord asked the Israelites to engage the tokens of the blood of a Passover lamb as a sign of exemption from the plague that was coming upon Egypt. We also spoke about how Jesus is our Passover lamb. When God gave Israel the instruction about the lamb and the blood that was to go on the doorposts and lintels of their homes, he added a very strange, seemingly insignificant instruction. I can imagine that it could have been easily missed if one didn't listen properly. He told them, after they had put the blood on the doorpost and lintels, that no one was permitted to go out of the door until morning. What this meant was that if a person had killed the lamb, poured the blood in the bowl, dipped ice up in the bowl, put some of the blood on the doors, if the person had done all these and yet ventured out of the house, the person would have been killed by the destroying angel. It did not matter if the house had the blood. If the person was not under the covering of the house with the blood, the person would have been killed by the destroyer. Of what essence is this for you and I who are partakers of a new covenant? I'll tell you. Fear and unbelief are the twins that will get you out of the house. If you will remain under the protective covering of the blood, you must deal with fear ruthlessly. You must also ensure that your faith is strong in God, in Jesus, and in his powerful sacrifice. Like I said yesterday, it cannot be one leg in and one leg out. It must be a firm conviction that you and all of yours are safe in the hollow of God's hands. My father-in-law was a soldier who fought in the civil war of his country. He told me a story that has never left my mind. He told me of a friend of his and fellow soldier who was always prone to fear. One day, there was an air raid by the enemy while they were in transit. Now, they had been trained to remain under cover, under the cover of whatever it was they were in when such um, raids happened. In their case, they were in a car. He said this friend of his was so afraid of the sounds of the bombs that he ran out of where they had taken cover and he was immediately killed. My father-in-law said to me, fear killed my friend, not the enemy. As I prepared this episode, this story came back to me. Fear kills. It kills more believers than the enemy does. This year, more than ever before, we must be ruthless with the spirit of fear and unbelief. No matter what we see, or here, we must remain inside the house that is marked by the blood, trusting fully in the power of the one who died to save us. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. We take authority over the spirit of fear. It will no longer have dominion over us. We are covered and protected by the blood of Jesus and we will stay covered. Take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.